Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be finishing our customer application. And then after this tutorial, we're going to be um, <clears throat> simplifying things a little bit and just be looking at arrays, them, array lists themselves and some of the stuff that you can do with array lists. So um, if you remember from, from the last tutorial, we made this right here and we overrided the two string function so that when we click list customer, it gives us the information that we want. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and move back to one of the earlier tutorials and you should see how we did this. Now um, what we're going to do in this program is whenever the user selects one of these, it's going to automatically fill in these fields right here uh, with the selected information. So what we'll do is uh, we'll come back here in our code and if you remember we created this display customer sub right here and what it does is we pass a customer object to it which is a structure and then we set the text of text name to the customer that they, that they passed and then the name uh, property then we did the first name uh, the last name and the email all of this same customer structure and we set them to text first name text last name text email and text name which are these text boxes right here so now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to select our list customers uh, list box and we're going to be working with some of the events so if you click the lightning bolt it will open up the events for you and uh, you can see that we've got a whole bunch right here and what we want to do is we want to uh, select selected index change so I'll just double click on that and it'll create this sub for us so now inside this sub um, we are just going to reuse code that we've already created display customer and this is why subs and functions are so useful because you can reuse the code in different ways that you may not think of at first and uh, it makes programming a lot faster and a lot easier so um, what we're going to do is we're going to call display customer and we're just going to pass the customer that the user has selected now to do this we're going to have to create a property so we'll come up here and let's just get some of this code out of the way so it doesn't confuse you and let's just do it right above list customers so what we're going to do is we're going to type private and we're going to make this property read only because you're not going to have to do any changing of values so we'll type read only property and we're just going to call this selected customer and the type is going to be the customer type so it is um, we use the customer type and it's a read only property so now what we're going to do is we are going to get the current index that is selected and we're going to try and convert that to a customer object now it will work every time because it's not possible for them to add uh, any other items to the list that aren't customers so what we're going to do is we're going to type return and what we're going to do is we're going to take the selected uh, customer that they have in the list box and we're going to convert that to a uh, type customer so what we're going to do is we're going to use C type which we have learned in an earlier tutorials so now what we're going to do is we're going to type object customers okay sorry about that we're going to use my customers instead of object customers now my customers is our array list that we have here so what we're going to do is we're going to access an index of that array list now since everything added to our list is by index um, let's see let's just comment this thing out real quick okay so since everything that we added uh, oh yeah let's comment that out too okay everything that we added is by index so this right here is of index 0 this right here is of index 1 and this right here is of index 2 um, and this is of the array list so index 0 1 and 2 and it is the same uh, in the list box uh, we got lucky with this so the list box this is index 0 this is index 1 and this is index 2 so they're going to be the same so we can get the index of the selected item in our list box and we can use that index in the index of our array list now this might be a little confusing but um, we'll go ahead and type this out so you'll see what I mean so we're going to use control Z and we'll uncomment it
So we're going to use the index that is selected in our list box. So we'll just type list customers dot selected index. So what it's going to do is if they select index zero, which is Sam, it's going to get the um, item in the array list my customers at the index of zero, which is going to be Sam. And so we're going to get that and we are going to try and convert that to the type customer. So we'll just type customer and that is our second argument because we're trying to convert it to a customer. But what if they haven't selected a or what if they selected index neg uh, negative one or um, no index at all because it starts at zero and if the index is negative one that means nothing has started. So we can just prevent an error from happening by typing if List customers dot selected index does not equal negative one. So if it doesn't equal negative one, then it's going to go ahead and return this right here. And we will go ahead and end if. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to uncomment this code. So we're just going to go ahead and type display customer and then selected customer. So what this is going to do is um, get the current selected customer so it's going to uh, select customer is going to be equal to um, the customer at the index of whatever you've selected so and then display customer will add the name the first name last name and email to these text boxes so let's go ahead and run this and see what happens we go ahead and click list customers and if we select one of these here, you can see that it adds them to these text boxes right here.